Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I just stumbled over this article, and this article is one of actually a great number that I encounter on my little searches. I wasn't looking for this kind of article, but I saw the same kind of article from Germany, the same kind of article in France. I saw the same kind of article in the United States of America. And I would like to discuss a little bit what's going on here. So this comes from Yahoo News and uh, it's from a senior White House correspondent. Socialist rally in Times Square praising Hamas terror attack draws widespread condemnation. I, I've been around for some time. I'm not that old. I'm not that young. But I still remember when it has, what, the second intifada, first intifada, when that occurred, and uh, how that was kind of covered. And there was, you know, a monopoly of the news, like this right here. I haven't heard at that time anything about any support by anyone. Most of it was a kind of uh, condemnation of this and that. What I'm trying to say is these guys are saying that uh, all these uh, rallies that I mentioned, I know in Berlin, I know in Great Britain, I know in France, United States of America, it was one in Seattle, Washington. It says they draws widespread condemnation. I haven't heard of this kind of support for terror attacks in my life. I remember the September 11 when there were some idiots celebrating, you know, the dawning and killing of civilians, you know, the attacks. I was like, but it was maybe one or two examples. Remember, at that time, uh, we didn't have this much uh, freedom of information, that is, the ability to find the information outside of the mainstream media necessarily. I know it was in, uh, you know, 2001 and so on. But still, um, again, where is that widespread condemnation? When on the other hand, my observation is that the support for this kind of actions increased. Is it because there's more? Is it because now we have more access to information that tells us about it and it's always been like this or even more before? I don't know. All I can say is now I see a lot of support for the Hamas terror attacks. But on the other hand, I see the... How, how should I put it? Um, widespread condemnation. Now, there's a fact that this occurred right here. But the person who wrote, writes this article tells us that it's widespread condemnation. Well, I know there are some people that, you know, you have to show a certain kind of... Uh, you are require, required to show a certain kind of attitude towards certain kind of events as if you have to feel the way they want you to feel about certain events. And if you don't feel the same way, somehow you are called this and you're called that. I think there is more support. I'm not here to, uh, uh, how should I put it, uh, be for or be against it. I don't care, I have my own opinion on what's going on and what I think is going on. My observation is that how come is so much support and so much condemnation? 
it seems like certain people have some uh, problems somewhere. And this is around the globe. It's not... How should I put it? Uh, kept in a single area, like the Middle East, you used to have, I don't know, people in, I don't know, Iran or Lebanon or some... No, this is in United States of America, in Paris, in London, in Berlin. And we see the authorities, for instance, banning certain kind of uh, demonstrations of support of terrorist attack. I know in Germany they did not allow something like this to occur, they dispersed them. I know they were, they organized something around the Brandenburg door, the Brandenburg door, the whatever, gate. And they didn't allow it to happen, the authorities. So, I also read some articles about uh, certain anti-Semitic uh, behavior in France. And the authorities are trying to cope with that. How is this possible? I mean, we all saw, right, the um, attacks of Hamas on Israel. The rockets, or the militants, however you want to call them, whatever term you want to use for them. Those people with weapons, driving across, taking over, taking captives. And still you have support. How is that? Why is that? And what's going to be next? Because it's either more support or is more um, information on the issue. If it's more support in many countries, which way do we go? I mean, obviously, this is the, you know, those guys attacked and we still have support. Is there something more than we don't know and we're not allowed to know? I don't know, it's just an observation that uh, I thought I should uh, share with you. And that is, there is support. Are they bad people, these people who support? I mean, they tell us that it was a Hamas terror attack. And then it draws condemnation. So, condemnation from whom? From the good people? So we have bad people and good people? So if you have bad people, these bad people are in New York City? How many are there? What are they going to do next? Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.